Hey guys! So, sometimes you can look at a picture of some breathtakingly beautiful place on our planet and think, this picture's gotta be edited or fake or maybe uh, taken on some sort of film set. Then you look online and are surprised to find that it's real. Not a trick, not Photoshop. Uh, for example, here's a picture of a Kurdish city just like those. Let's start by saying different sources call it a city or a town, but I would say a place with 8,000 people has earned the status of at least a small town. Its name is just as confusing as its status. Some sources call it Amadea, others call it Amedi. We'll stick with the second option. Isn't it just as surprising that this small settlement is in Iraqi Kurdistan? Of course, the most impressive part of the pictures is that Amedi is on the flat top of a mountain about 3,900 feet above sea level. It looks like an eagle's nest, and it has a magnificent view of the valley below. By the way, there are many places nearby that are perfect to appreciate the local mountains and their wonderful, powerful landscapes. We can only be jealous of the locals who live on the edges with unbelievable views outside their windows. The city is 3,280 feet long and 1,640 feet wide. It is certainly one of the oldest cities with unchanged borders for obvious reasons, since it has nowhere to expand. It's limited by its natural location. Amedi is a border city that is about 354 miles north of Baghdad and less than 12 miles away from the Turkish border. But amazingly, the path is blocked by mountains, and the only place with a passage into Turkey is 56 miles away. The city has a rich, interesting history, but we will limit ourselves to the most interesting moments. So the settlement existed back in the 3rd millennium BCE and was only reachable by a narrow staircase carved into the rock for a long time. In its history, Amedi has been under the influence of various peoples and countries in the area since it was an excellent fortified position and controlling such an unreachable city had strategic value. From 1276 to 1843, there was the powerful Kurdish emirate called Badinan, which is in modern Iraq, Turkey, and Iran. Its capital was Amedi for this long time, and the city was home to a peaceful population of Jews, Muslims, and Christians. It was possible due to the emirate's politics and tolerance for different religions. However, after it ceased to exist, the situation returned to its previous status. Now a significant portion of the population are Kurdish Muslims. The city is also home to Christians, so Amedi has a wine store. It's worth noting that the relationship between the two religions is still very friendly. Now. Let's go to modern times and talk about how you can see this amazing place with your own eyes. Now, traveling around Iraq is not for the faint of heart. It's worth mentioning that parts of Iraq aren't very stable, but nevertheless, tourism in Amedi is growing even though it's more for the locals and finding foreigners is quite rare. Moreover, you must understand that you won't be able to simply go to Google and easily buy a ticket to the city or a hotel room, especially now. But we'll try to create our own path. So our first stop will be in a city in northern Iraq called Erbil, which is the capital of the Kurdistan region. You can reach it by plane from most large European cities. Next up is 93 miles away. It's Duhok, which you can reach by car or bus. Now, we're just 44 miles from the mountain city and our pictures. There are buses that leave from Duhok, but they're few in number, so you need to be unusually lucky to find one. Otherwise, there's two options. The first is hitchhiking. It sounds risky, but it is much safer than you'd expect. The second is renting a car or a taxi, and you can rent a joint taxi too. So, you've chosen your car, and you're on your way to Amedi, which will carry quite a few passengers. 
The trip is about 90 minutes, but it can vary. It's worth mentioning that all the cities on the path from Erbil are incredibly interesting for tourists. Most of Iraqi Kurdistan is capable of satisfying the needs of even the most demanding travelers, since a significant portion of Kurdistan is in Mesopotamia, the region between the Tigris and the Euphrates, where the great ancient civilization was. The nature isn't very varied, but is still impressive and beautiful. But now let's get back to the eagle's nest. So climbing up to the city using the narrow staircase carved into the rock is no longer necessary. There is a decent road now. Now there are no hotels in Amedi, but you can find one one to two miles away from the city towards Duhok, where a room costs about 17 bucks a night. Also, if you want, you can make an arrangement with the locals who live on the edge. And if you're feeling extreme, you can get a free night's sleep in the city itself. The locals are ready to let guests into the mosque, but you'll have to sleep on a rug near the entrance. Now, this probably doesn't scare experienced travelers, but experience has shown that the best option is to stay in the towns close to Amedi. They have the best view of the city. Now, if you're exceptionally lucky, you'll have dinner in a restaurant where you can enjoy the landscapes and a view of Amedi. As far as the mosque goes, it's one of the most noticeable tourist attractions. The Great Amedi Mosque was built in the 12th century and is the oldest and largest in the region. It is 21,500 square feet. It could fit up to 300 believers. And the prominent 100-foot tower was built during the rule of Sultan Hussein al-Vali in the 15th century. The tower has a spiral staircase with 103 steps that leads to the top. The mosque also has a Kabaddi school that was once the largest school in the region. Various religious and legal courses were taught here. The mosque also has a library that still contains ancient works. Now, if you forget about ancient history and the wonderful landscapes, then Amedi is just a normal city. It has everything you need for a more or less comfortable life, like shops, restaurants, a club, police, and various government buildings. The population is 8,000, and it seems impossible to grow it. Actually, the locals often have to leave. The city cannot grow, so it's not possible to build new buildings. There's simply no space. Most locals make their livings by raising sheep, in services, and then slightly in tourism. However, not that many people go to the city. It's just lucky to be surrounded by important tourist attractions and resorts. Additionally, the people in Amedi are trying to register the city as a UNESCO World Heritage Site to preserve its monuments and turn them into popular places for tourists around the world. Amedi is a wonderful, hospitable place with many ancient buildings from various times and landscapes that you'll love if you can't live without mountains. I for one really hope that the locals succeed with UNESCO, get the money to restore what they need to, and attract tourists from various countries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to show you an interesting place on our planet that maybe you've never heard of before. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Leave a like, comment, let me know, would you stay in Amedi? I think it'd be kind of cool to sleep on the floor of a mosque. Anyway, we'll see you next time.